Just a few days ago, Clayster officially announced his retirement from the Call of Duty League. After over a decade of competing at the highest level, he was unable to find a roster spot on a CDL team, forcing him into retirement. Even while I was working on this video, I got a notification from Reddit of someone saying, still can't believe Clay retired. Someone said, followed him for years. He grew up in my hometown and went to my rival high school. The fact that he went on to become one of the GOATs is surreal. Clay won a championship in 2015, 2019, and in the first year of the CDL in 2020, as well as winning the 2015 World Championship MVP. And he's been grinding for the last 16 years, earning 20 tournament wins. But in this video, I want to talk about his time in the CDL specifically. I have an old video where I break down Clayster's rise in Call of Duty, going through his early career. In this video, I'm going to talk more about his time in the Call of Duty League, but I'm also going to link the video that Classics GG made. It's a really good film where Clayster talks about his COD career in depth. So but let's take a trip all the way back to Modern Warfare 2019. At this time, Clayster had just come off of a recent championship and he eventually went on to join Dallas Empire as the COD League was just being announced. Dallas Empire is owned by Envy, so they signed Clayster, Crim6, Illy, Shotzi, and Hook, two world champions alongside three younger players whose potential is off the charts. With this team in opening weekend, things did not go very well as they lost to Atlanta FaZe and Chicago Huntsman. And as Clay's first season in the CDL went on, COVID happened, forcing everyone inside, so the league had to be moved online, which ended up working out for the team because they were known as onliners throughout the season, and they started finding more success throughout the season. And there's even a helpful graphic here that shows how Clay's first season in the CDL went. They went 23-12, and 12, finishing second with 260 CDL points. And this year, the COD League was forced to host the biggest tournament of the year, the 2020 CDL Champs Online. And they had a really good season with Clayster running the main AR, starting in winner's round three, alongside FaZe and in their first round they would go on to beat Toronto Ultra in a really close 3-2 series and then they matched up against FaZe back to back and beat them both times. Empire started the match with a 1-0 lead and from there they quickly jumped on Atlanta but Dallas did not let them gain any momentum and shut them down in map 6 beating Atlanta FaZe and as you can see here Leicester was ecstatic as he just earned his third ring in the first year of the CDO that he could match up against the best of the best and still dominate. I mean, during this event, he had a 1.10 KD and a 1.24 in SND. And it also helps when you have MVP Shotzi going crazy throughout the event. It led to the first CDL champs. Despite becoming a three-time world champion, things would take a turn for the worst right after COD champs because reality would really set in. The COD League announced earlier in the season that instead of going from 5v5, roster spots would now go down to 4v4, meaning that Dallas Empire would be forced to drop one player. And it really came down to Crim6 or Clayster. Clayster was the one who ended up being dropped and was removed from the squad 48 hours after winning COD Champs. This is the story of Clayster's career. Dropped from Cole, Optic, Envy, traded from FaZe, last one left on E United, and now a drop from Dallas. He always finds a way to win and he'll do it again. Would love to see Clay team up with Mac, Attach, and Zuma in New York. Adding a leader like Clay to those three could be a dominant team next year. Seems like this guy predicted the future because and YSL announced that they would be fielding Clayster on their roster to join alongside Mac, Diamond Cond, and Nassim. Clay said about the situation, you know the type of player you're getting with me, and if this is my last hurrah, I'm giving it all I got. I don't want it to be the last ride, but who knows, after how these last two years turned out, all I've ever asked was to be appreciated and wanted, and as soon as an org shows that back to me, I'm there for life. After starting the season with a few average placements, NYSL's future really changed when they picked up the French amateur player in place of Diamond Con, and that player's name was Hydra. After adding him, their results went up immediately. They placed top two at stage three major and ultimately top six at COD Champs in 2021. And Clayster seemed to find a comfortable position on NYSL for the time being at least. As the Vanguard season rolled around, NYSL was still hopeful because of the mix of rising talent and veterans on the roster. In fact, right before the Vanguard season began, Clayster had really pushed for Crim6 to be on the roster alongside Hydra and Neptune, so eventually Crim6 was picked up, but Clay really struggled at the beginning of the season, and he couldn't find his consistency with his slaying power, and the team needed a change. After some drama going on in between the roster, Clayster was eventually benched and looking for new opportunities as Crim6 stayed on NYSL. He was upset about the decision, but really hungry to compete, considering retiring at this point. And whereas most people would have quit and probably retired, Clayster decided that he still wanted to keep going and still had that burning desire to play COD. So eventually,
eventually he joined the challengers league and spent the rest of the vanguard season playing at an amateur level and this is where he says he really fell back in love with competitive call of duty just going back to the roots of it and going into what people call the passion pit really restored clay's passion for the game he ended up placing top six in the 2022 cod challengers finals with fellow pristini and venom but his time in cod challengers would not last very long because he was called back up to the cdl in the modern warfare 2 season by none other than the vegas legion vegas needed a bounce back season they probably have for every season they've been in the cdl <laughs> the initial roster started in mw2 with clay temp tj halley and prolu and prolu got changed for standy midway through the season but while the team did have hints of success they were not really able to clutch up when it mattered except for when they did this to let <laughs> I just had to mention that because that still blows my mind to this day. Vegas struggled throughout the season. Clay was trying to find a splitting in the league. In the CDL season, they did not make champs. But because of his resilience and his leadership qualities, it, it's really hard to find that in players. And the Carolina Royal Ravens definitely recognized that as they picked him up for his final season in competitive Call of Duty to help lead Gwyn, who eventually went on to become Rookie of the Year. And Clay played really similar to how he played in Modern Warfare 2 statistically, except in the S and he really struggled this year in SMD, but even in Gwyn's own words, Clayster was pivotal for his growth in the league and helped him learn how to play professional Call of Duty. And it was also kind of a full circle moment because while the Carolina Royal Ravens didn't really play that well this season, Clay got to team with his former teammates, one being TJ Halley from Vegas Legion and the other being Felony, who he teamed with years prior. So that was kind of like a wholesome moment for him to end his career. There were times in the season where Carolina looked like a top six team and one of my favorite majors from Clayster was definitely major two in Miami I was able to go to this major I was even in the crowd at the end where everybody was like chanting and it was just a really cool experience to be there but I still think Clayster could play in the league if he was given the right opportunity do I think he would put up insane stats or anything probably not but like I said earlier he just has leadership and qualities as a teammate from other pros in the league that have even said it themselves is really hard to find and and it's a main reason why Clayster has been able to stay in the league for so long. Had a chance to make COD champs at the Major 4 LAN tournament, but were first rounded by Toronto Ultra. And Clay ended his COD career in the way only a true Call of Duty player can. But after not being able to make COD champs and not finding a roster spot for the Black Ops 6 season, Clayster has decided to hang up the sticks, as with so many other OG COD pros. And this just shows that we're really coming to the end of an era when it comes to competitive Call of Duty and a new chapter is beginning. Older CDL players have passed the torch and it seems like Clay has also done that with Gwyn in a way. And I'm sure Clay will still do stuff casting in the CDL and things like that. He's really good at casting. He was casting at COD Champs and at the Esports World Cup. And I really enjoyed listening to his analysis. It's nice hearing from Nameless because he played back in the day. And adding someone like Clayster who has played more recently in the CDL would be a great addition to the desk. So that's probably where Clay's future will be if it's not like streaming and stuff like that as well. And like I said, I'm glad I got to see him compete live but i want to hear from you guys what is your favorite clayster moment throughout his entire career i know i just kind of covered the cdl in this video but man his career goes far back all the way to like 2007 2008 so he cemented as a legend to the cod scene but this marks the end of clayster's call of duty league career if you enjoyed this video check out my recent video about gwen's rookie season in the cdl this kind of goes more in depth of the carolina royal raven season and how clayster contributed to gwen's success but with that said i hope you all have a great week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.